In the last video, I have explained step by step on how to create financial analysis dashboard using Python in Excel. If you have missed to watch it, providing the link in the description and pinned comment. If you would like to learn from beginning, then I recommend watching this video. Before getting into the topic, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever a new video is out. Let's get started. As you know, I have created this dashboard using the financial uh, data and in the data frame sheet I have imported the required libraries and created the data frame. Now these are the charts that I have created using the Seaborn library. In order to make the dashboard dynamic I am going to create a pivot table so that we can take the advantage of the slicers. So go to data, select any cell between the data, then Alt DP shortcut to create the pivot table. Click next, click next. And here I am going to choose the existing sheet financial analysis, selecting Y2 cell, finish. Now the pivot table got created. Take discount band into the rows. Now the pivot table is showing four discount bands here. Select it and go to insert slicer take discount band click ok now this will show slicer based on the y2 cell value i'm going to filter the data frame here so i'm going to give name filtered df equals to py hit tab going to increase the formula bar a little bit so that you will get more room to see well filtered underscore df equals to data frame my data frame name is df and open open square bracket again df open square bracket here my field name is discount band close double quote close bracket equals to the value which is coming from my pivot the very first cell y3 cell close bracket hit control enter now i have the data frame with the values which is filtered based on the value you can see the discount band column is filtered with the high because the very first value is high if i hit low the here now the low is selected if you go and see the data frame also it is updated with low so we can use this filtered df to make it dynamic all these charts are used the whole data frame in the program wherever i have used df as a data frame i'm going to replace with the filtered df then control enter the chart is get updated based on the discount band. Similarly, I will go to the second chart. I will change data frame. Here the data, I have referred the cell in the previous cell. Now I am going to replace with the filtered DF. Then hit control enter. Now the chart got updated. Similarly, the third chart also, we will update instead of DF. I'm going to replace with a filter df press control enter and the third chart also got updated going to reduce the formula bar it all these three charts are based on the discount band low here let me select the high and you can just have an eye on all the charts this will get changed see now all the charts got updated similarly medium now all the charts got updated. So this is how you can make use of a pivot and a slicers to make the dashboards dynamic. You can overlap the slicer on top of the pivot table so that it looks neat. Now we will see how we can make use of data validation to make the dashboards dynamic. I am going to copy the code from the third chart. Copy. Going to add a new sheet in the f2 cell equals to 
py and paste the same code and just hit control enter select the cell right click python output excel value now click on the linked object or removing the grid lines if you carefully look at this python code these two are the fields that we are referring from our data i am going to add a data validation the shortcut key is alt d l list select the source go to data and select only the headers click ok i am going to copy and paste one more time x axis and the other one is y axis units are sold here sales so this is units are sold x axis is units sold and y axis is sales the same values i have selected here and i need to link these two cells to here just uh, remove the field names and select the cell x axis and uh, remove the sales and select the sales hit control enter now the chart got updated as of now there is no change in the output now instead of units sold you can pick anything here let me take profit the chart will change now see now the chart got changed instead of sales let me take gross sales so now the chart got changed this is how we can make use of slicers and the data validation or in excel to make dynamic dashboards using python in excel hope you like this video please comment down your thoughts on this video i request you to please subscribe if you are not done yet thank you very much